High Island Reservoir in Saikun East Country Park is famous for its scenic beauty. The famous hiking route on its south bank, Maclehost Trail Section 1, is a favorite countryside destination. During construction of the reservoir, stone was quarried from the cliffs around the East Dam. The excavation work revealed globally rare rhyolitic volcanic hexagonal rock columns, and the site became the best spot to see this geo-wonder at close range. The East Dam of High Island Reservoir has so much to offer. Magnificent uplands, reservoir, seascape, various geological structures, and wave-cut landforms. It is one of the most popular geopark attractions. Early Cretaceous Rhyolitic Columnar Rock Formation of Hong Kong Geopark selected as one of the first 100 I geological heritage sites in October 2022. It marks that the formation has been recognized by international scientific organizations as one of the 100 most important geological heritage in the world. High Island Geo Trail along the east. Dam is an ideal circuit to see hexagonal rock columns at close range. This easy route is generally level with adequate countryside facilities. There are interpretation panels, a long way to provide information on various landforms created by natural phenomena. It is a trail for hikers of all ages and interests. Let's talk about geology. About 140 million years ago, crustal activities gave rise to a huge volcano in the region known as Saikung today including the Saikung Marine Region. Known as a supervolcano High Island Supervolcano, it had a massive eruption volume. Masses of volcanic material were extruded upon the ground surface, where they settled and accumulated in thickness up to several hundred meters. The volcanic materials cooled down, congealed and solidified into hard rock and eventually formed the mountains in and around Saikung. During the later stage of eruption, the magma chamber of this huge volcano became empty and failed to support the upper structure. Extensive collapse occurred and huge oval-shaped basin measuring about 20 kilometers in length emerged, a caldera, the high island caldera. Meanwhile, special volcanic activities produced a large amount of molten state volcanic materials within a short time and they were deposited inside the caldera. Under stable environmental conditions in the semi-enclosed caldera, these substances cooled down, congealed and contracted in a very regular pattern. During the cooling process, regular hexagonal network fractures first appeared on the surface of these sprawling volcanic materials. As the temperature dropped, the fractures extended downwards and eventually sculpted the volcanic materials into millions of hexagonal rock columns. Hexagonal columnar rock is distributed across the site of the ancient caldera, covering the nine pins, the Ungkong group, Tai Long Wan, High Island including, High Island Reservoir and Khao Sai, show today. Hexagonal rock columns are found in many volcanic zones of the world, yet the majority are extremely dark low silica basalt. By contrast, hexagonal rock columns in Hong Kong are silicon dioxide bearing rhyolitic or felsic volcanic rock of a gray, quartz and potash feldspar rich substrate. In theory, this volcanic material, characterized by low temperature and high viscosity is not conducive to the formation of hexagonal columnar rock. High Island Reservoir and its surrounding area are composed of hexagonal columnar rock. In 1971, during reservoir construction, a quarry was set up near the East Dam to supply large quantities of stone for the engineering project at low transport cost. Extensive rock profiles remained afterwards, and the striking hexagonal rock columns came to light. Hong Kong's hexagonal columnar rock formations have withstood more than 100 million years of weathering, but we still have columns that exceed 400 meters in thickness today. Land and sea distribution is over 100 square kilometers including marine regions, and average column diameter is 1.2 meter, with the largest specimens measuring 3 meters. Outcropping height is high, 
with 100 meters columns emerging on some islands and sea cliffs. These hexagonal rock columns are very different from hexagonal rock columns in other parts of the world, both in texture and chemical composition. Massive in size, they are widely distributed to integrate with other coastal erosion landforms, such as sea caves, sea cliffs, and sea arches. Together, they make up Hong Kong's unique geomorphological landscapes and world-class geo-wonders. Along the High Island Geo Trail, you can see buckled S-shaped columnar rock under the East Dam. What kind of mighty force could have caused hard rock to buckle like this? During the course of condensational contraction, that gave rise to hexagonal columnar rock. Melted volcanic substances gradually turn from plastic state to solid state. Just when the rock columns were formed, before they had time to solidify completely, powerful exogenetic force from a sudden geological movement compressed them and caused deformation. Had geological movement occurred earlier, when the volcanic substances were still in plastic state, it would not have any impact on the rock columns formed subsequently. Had it occurred later, the solidified rock columns would have been crushed instead of buckled, because they could not withstand such powerful force. More interestingly, the S-shaped rock column formation is intruded by a near-vertical dark dike, created by another geological movement. Some years after the buckled rock columns were formed, this dike emerged when basic mafic lava intruded, the weak zone of the hexagonal rock column formation, on the ground surface, that is the buckled rock. When this basic lava congealed and consolidated, it turned into a dark dike. The S-shaped rock columns have a combination of geological features and interesting geological stories. Indeed, this attraction is the highlight of the High Island Geo Trail and one of the iconic sites of Hong Kong Geopark. The trail also offers views of a famous wave-cut landform across the water Po Pin Show. The islet was originally part of Fa Shan on the right. For ages, pounding waves crashed into the cataclastic band between them, eroding the cataclastic rock initially and working their way through until only a narrow passage remained. Since then, Po Pin Show was separated from Fa Shan and became an island. Likewise, the sea cave opposite the lookout at the end of the East Dam was created by waves cutting into the cataclastic band of the columnar rock. After completion of the reservoir, the coffer dam protected it from the relentless swells and erosion has been progressing at a much slower pace. It is now one of the few sea caves in Hong Kong that visitors can see at close range. Let's talk about history and culture. After we, Hong Kong saw sharp population growth that coincided with industrial and commercial development. There was increasing demand for fresh water. The colonial government signed an agreement with mainland China in 1964 to import Dongjiang water from the following year. This extra supply was nonetheless not sufficient to meet the huge demand, and water rationing had to be imposed from time to time. In the worst periods, water was supplied once every four days. In 1968, the colonial government launched a reservoir project in Plover Cove, Taipo. A great enclosure was built to connect the island and the mainland. Seawater inside the dam was drained and mud on the seabed was cleared. The enclosure was then filled with freshwater Plover Cove Reservoir. In years with that followed, Hong Kong's population and economy continued to grow rapidly, so did the demand for fresh water. To address the water issue in the long run, by increasing fresh water supply, another large reservoir was planned for Kuan Mun Channel in Sai Kung in 1969, about High Island Geo Trail. High Island Geo Trail lies beside the beautiful High Island Reservoir, created after two large dams blocked a narrow channel between High Island and the eastern side of Sai Kung Peninsula. The area, situated within Hong Kong UNESCO Global Geopark, is home to breathtaking rock landscapes of international geological importance formed when a supervolcano erupted 140 million years ago. Signs dotting the Lizerly Trail offer insights into Instagram-friendly delights, including towering cliff faces lined with hexagonal rock columns, mysterious caves and sea stacks, and atop these some Cock Hill stunning coastal scenery, such as picturesque Long Kiwan.
How to get there, by Green Minibus. Take bus number 94 departing from Saikung Town Center, bus node 96 Revolutions departing from Diamond Hill MTR Station, or bus node 189 Revolutions departing from Sha Tin Central. Get off at Pak Tam Chung and take Green Minibus. No 9A to the East Dam of High Island Reservoir weekends and public holidays only. By taxi, take a taxi from Saikun Town Center or Pak Tam Chung to the Geo Trail at the East Dam, High Island Reservoir. See you next part 2, Long Beach and East Dam Peak. Thanks for watching.